Nothing says adventure like taking to the skies. But the age-old dream of flying, as in without a plane, has been limited to parasailing, base jumping, or skydiving. Lots of fun, but kind of a quick thrill. Not anymore. An innovative team with their heads in the clouds has developed a new way to turn falling into flying. Man's quest for flight is a exhilarating feeling. We all are addicted to it. The wingsuit is a new generation of gliding technology that turns the skydiver into a human hang glider, capable of flying longer and farther than anything without an engine. Tony Uragallo is the designer who wants to give airborne adventurers the chance to make flying personal. Can you explain to me the aerodynamics of this versus, you know, from a parachute? What, what are we getting here? We are getting more thrust forwards, like the sail of a boat, maybe. Okay. The air goes in to inflate the okay. suit to create the, the, the aerofoil shape, just yeah. like the wing of an airplane. And um, the faster forward you go, the more yeah. lift you get. Wingsuits have been around for a few years, but Tony's new airfoil shape puts the wind beneath your wings by dramatically slowing your fall, and thus extending the length of the flight. These so-called Tony suits are a combination of subplex and parapack nylon fabrics that stretch between your arms, torso, and legs to create an airfoil. The airfoil is what creates the lift. The colors are what make you look like a superhero. Skydiving is more or less a straight drop. But on wingsuits, the fabric between your arms and legs creates lift and propels you forward about two meters for every one you drop. The Tony suit takes it to the next level. Air intakes on the shoulders allow the wings to inflate, creating genuine airfoil shapes that give you a lot more lift. With the Tony suit, you fly 3.6 meters forward for every meter you drop. A single flight can extend more than six horizontal miles. You just gotta hold that position, you gotta rotate. Rotate your hands and rotate your shoulders, lift right. your shoulders forward a little bit, point your toes. And stick it out and it'll make you fly like a bird. Tony's team of fantastic flyers includes Jeff Nebelkoff and Taya Weiss. A skydiver basically falls at 120 miles an hour from a skydive belt on their belly or upward of 180 miles an hour if they're standing up or falling head relative to earth. We, with our wingsuit, can fall as slow as 30 miles an hour and actually ascend. You dive and pick up enough speed, you can actually curve out of it and do a swoop and ascend and actually gain altitude. We inflate our wings, extend our legs, and as we do that, the cells of our wingsuit inflate with air and we literally push across the sky using gravity as an engine to glide as far as six miles at a time. So if you want to experience the ocean, get out of the boat. If you want to experience the sky, get out of the plane. But if you want to experience real human flight, put on a wingsuit. Flying like Superman requires lots of training for a mild-mannered tech guy like myself. Plus, I've never jumped out of a plane before, so I'm going to have to summon up some superhuman courage. First, I'm taken through a dress rehearsal on this outdoor wind tunnel. A vertically mounted jet engine creates a stationary skydiving experience where I can get a feel for how to manipulate my body and control my movements in a free fall. Then, after my amateur antics, I get to see how the pros do it. You want the good news or the bad news? Good news. The good news is we're going wingsuiting. Great. The bad news is you can't come. You gotta have 200 jumps. How long does it take to get 200 jumps? Six months. All right, we'll come back in six months, okay. hold everything until then. Okay. Dude, All I right. really we'll wanna do this now. Even in a wingsuit, flying is serious business. So I'm gonna have to sit this one out while the experts take flight. This is the ultimate feeling of freedom. It's not just falling through the sky, it's, it's gliding. It's really a sense of being able to guide your body, to choose your path. A 
wingsuit flyer takes the leap at about 13,000 feet and immediately picks up the tailwind of the aircraft. But once the fall begins, Tony's special wingsuit design makes the most of the lift created by the uprushing air. Like the wings of a seabird that sails enormous distances, the new wingsuit design greatly extends the length of the flight by slowing the vertical drop while maintaining a horizontal speed of 120 miles per hour. While a normal skydiver deploys his chute at about 2,500 feet, the Sky Flyer releases it at about 1,000 feet. He unzips the arm wings and comes in for a daredevil high-speed landing. The horizontal speed the wingsuit generates in flight means landings are ridiculously fast. If wingsuit flyers are ever going to achieve their bird-like goal of landing without a parachute, they're going to have to work out how to slow down in the final stretch. Watch your shadows, guys. Whether people actually get to land these things, that'll depend on other things. Your rocket technology, whether we can get the thrust to sort of slow our descent, but right now we're happy using parachutes, that's for sure. 30 years from now, I would say you're gonna see big world record formations of hundreds and hundreds of wingsuit flyers. Here's a tip to the bird watchers of the future. That high flying bird of prey could be a thrill seeker cruising on nylon wings. People have wanted to fly for ages. We've built contraptions, jumped from towers and planes. Now we've turned our entire bodies into wings and gotten closer to human flight than we've ever been, creating an entirely new category of adventure. Icarus, he just had the wrong equipment. What he needed was a wingsuit.